All right, this is for a teacher to set up a parent-teacher conference using Signup Genius. If you go to signupgenius.com, go ahead and log in. Once you sign up and get logged in, then you want to create a sign up by clicking on the green button up at the top. Once you create a sign up, this is where you play with your design. You can change the title of it, the look of it, all of that stuff. So in this instance, I'm using this for phone conferences. So I'm going to type in phone conferences with Mr. Heckendorf. And then for your group, I'm not sure if you need to add a group or what that's all about, but I created a group and I called it parents. So I just went ahead and clicked on that. Uh, the type category was scheduling for education. Um, I found some nice themes for me. Uh, being our teacher, went in the art and media templates and did the digital conference. Scroll down to the bottom, click Save and Continue to get to the next step. This is where you're signing up for slots. I found the easiest one for a phone conference signup was going to be Sort by Date. So click on Sort by Date and add, add Date. Uh, top menu, scroll on over to Add Time Slots. And for this instance, I'm doing Monday through Thursday. And I'm going to give myself 3.45 to 4.45. So go ahead and fill those in the way you want them. And then the increments, the time slot increment, I'm going to do 10 minutes. Just so I have a little bit of time in between each one, I'm going to try to emphasize that it's only meant to be a five minute conference. And that'll give me a little bit of cushion, hopefully. And then for location, I'm just going to type in phone conference or phone call with Mr. Heckendorf or from Mr. Heckendorf. Um, if you do a Zoom meeting or a Teams meeting, you can do some cool little hyperlinks by clicking on that button there. Um, but I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. When you're done, click Add 24 Time Slots or whatever number you have, and that'll create all of those time slots. Now I need to add the slots. Okay, I just added the dates, now I need to add slots. So once again, I'm gonna title it over and over again. I'm trying to make sure that they understand that it's gonna be a phone call from Mr. Heckendorf. And then I'm gonna say, you know, sign up for a time slot for a phone call from Mr. Heckendorf. The number wanted, I want for each one of my dates and times, I just want one time slot. So, and I want that to be for all dates. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And there we go. If you need to make any edits, you can click on that little uh, pencil icon to make edits or changes. But if you're happy with it, click save and continue. And then go to settings. So I'm asking for participants. They need to put in their name, which is required. They need to do their email, which is required. And I want to make sure I change the comment to be required as well, because I need to get their phone number that, that they want me to call them on. So I'm typing in a, an um, edited comment that says, provide the phone number you want Mr. Heckendorf to call you. Click Update. And then I'll look down at the bottom at these preferences. Since we're using a free account, we're kind of limited down there. They're going to get advertisements. Um, I want to uncheck allow people to swap slots with each other because I don't want this to be a hot mess um, with people moving names around. So that's pretty important. Uh, notifications. I do want people uh, to sign up, and I want to be notified with an email. And then I also want to let Sign Up Genius remind people um, about their time slot just setting that to one day in advance. Um, the restrictions and integrations, I don't know much about that. I just left them the way they were and click Save and Continue. Now it gets to the final step where it's going to publish it. You can look at the preview, what it's going to look like on a desktop computer, and then you can also look at the preview of what it's going to look like on a phone. Happy with the way it looks. And then I'm going to go ahead and click Publish. After I click Publish, I now get an option to copy and paste uh, the link. 
So that's the copy, the copied link that I'm going to use in my email out to parents. Um, I have used the invite by email option in the past for sign up, but that does get sent through Sign Up Genius, and I don't want that to go through uh, for my parent conferences. I want to post it on Schoology and email it out. So I'm just going to copy that link. And then finally, you can view what it looks like. You can always go back and sign up Genius and sign in and, and watch and look at this sign up, get filled um, as parents sign up. But hopefully this helps if you're looking for an option for creating sign ups for parent-teacher conferences. Have fun.